If you wanna be crypto savvy, we can help you skip those valleys. Let's rally, yeah. If you wanna be crypto savvy, we can Welcome back to Be Crypto Savvy. Appreciate you joining us as we dive into Ethereum with the help of the Genie Range Report. If you didn't get a chance to check out the video from this morning, uh, we did already cover Bitcoin in a separate video. I will throw that video up in the top right corner for you just so you have instant access to it. However, I don't want to waste too much of your time and I would like to jump into Ethereum. So let's go ahead and do that. Looking at Ethereum, you can see that we are currently sitting at $1,972. Uh, on one of the last videos we did with Ethereum, I did change this green uh, support band here from red to green and i said at the time this might be a little too early and it was we didn't hold let's go ahead and switch this guy back all right nope what am i doing here so we're going to switch him back to red that is still resistance we are also back below not only within our resistance band but we also dropped below the two thousand dollar level which is not just you know a simple dollar amount is a huge psychological level as well, which plays a big part in uh, resistance and support. So with that being said, let me zoom out here a little bit. We are still uh, playing around within our expanding symmetrical triangle. When we covered Ethereum uh, before last weekend and prior to uh, crossing that $2,000 level, I had said that I thought we would end up bumping our heads on the $2,000 level uh, which also timed up nicely with the uh, Ethereum upgrade, uh, which I expected there would be more of a sell-off than, than what actually happened. I didn't think it was going to be chaos, but I did think that there would be a little bit more sell-off uh, kind of pushing us back within our symmetrical triangle down here. That didn't happen. We didn't get much sell-off with the upgrade at all, and we actually ended up pushing up into our next resistance zone before getting rejected. However, it looks like we are kind of coming back into this triangle area. It just took a few extra days than expected. Uh, and that's kind of what I'm seeing with, with our stochastic still trying to work its way back down uh, and kind of recover to build that strength back up. My personal view is that we're probably going to end up uh, dropping probably down to around that 1915, uh, 1925, uh, $1,925 area. Uh, which kind of night is uh, kind of perfectly right on top of these candles here. That kind of puts us right in that support area there. And that's kind of where I see us coming down to, uh, and then more or less just kind of doing some choppy sideways trading uh, to kind of build our strength back up and kind of reestablish ourselves uh, after a little bit of some, uh, after a little volatility over the past several days. So that's my take. Let's jump over to the Genie Range Report and see what they've got to say for confirmation. I won't spend a lot of time on it. However, if you do not know what the Genie Range Report is, there is going to be a video up in the top right corner for you. That video explains in detail what you need to know about this report, as well as how to get it for your two week free trial and 10% off the already low price of only $20 thereafter. And I'll leave it at that. Let's get into this report. Looking at Ethereum, make sure we're on there. And you can see, yes, this is <laughs> this is a pretty good confirmation here. A pretty stagnant, uh, very uh, docile price movements here. Uh, one thing I'm going to point out again is the, the placement of this relative value line. Uh, if you want to jump back to Bitcoin, you can see, again, that relative value line isn't even touching anywhere within the forecasted uh, price range, whereas Ethereum, the, the relative value is pretty much smack dab right in the middle of not only the forecast, but the opportunity zone at that. So I won't spend much time on that either, but if you are interested in what I'm talking about further, if you are unfamiliar, just catch one of our last uh, Bitcoin or Ethereum videos before this prior weekend uh, where we were talking about that. We're going to go ahead and move past the candles it was as we were just in trading view. The relative strength index is still hovering around that 30 line, which is the overbought territory. Uh, this, You can see a very slight tick down. Uh, I do believe that we'll probably still relatively be in this area uh, throughout the weekend, most likely. 
your Ethereum daily RSI over 30 days is still pulling back. This looks very similar to uh, Bitcoin as far as uh, the pullback that we're seeing. Uh, again, just like Bitcoin, I would like to see this pullback uh, really down to the 30 line, which uh, would allow us to be able to, you know, establish a foundation and, you know, a support level where we are at candle wise uh, and kind of reestablish that strength index to be able to uh, make another push hopefully in the upward direction. Going down to the MACD, uh, you can see that we had bounce a couple times, a few times off the signal line, never crossing. However, uh, we are currently looking like we're about to cross, which would be a bearish signal uh, with the MACD crossing underneath the signal line, like it looks like we would be able to anticipate. Uh, you never know, it could bounce. However, I would probably expect this to cross. The, uh, the stochastic already did cross uh, four days ago on the 16th and has been uh, just like Bitcoin. It was in that overbought territory and we saw that cross and have been experiencing a solid, sizable stochastic pullback, which is exactly what we were hoping for. Over on Ethereum average price, again, very similar to Bitcoin. We were putting in higher highs, higher lows, and just recently saw that kind of curl around and start putting in uh, lower highs and lower lows for the uh, micro picture. Over on the on balance volume for Ethereum, uh, we've seen a little bit of a pullback. However, nothing compared to uh, what we've seen loaded up uh, over the past, really even past like 45, 60 days uh, that we've been talking about this. Uh, if we move down to the average directional movement, index uh, we are sitting at a 33 anything above that 25 line does indicate the reading of some sort of trend it doesn't tell us which direction that trend is moving just that there is a strength reading of a trend and we are sitting at 33 so really not much uh, and plus that has been pulling back ultimate oscillator pulling back as well back into the uh, neutral territory at 52 Parabolic stop and reversal. We have seen three straight confirmed sell dots printed above our uh, candles, which is solid confirmation. Uh, same thing with Bitcoin. We got a uh, pretty much a perfect touch on that 50% uh, retracement line on the Fibonacci. Bitcoin actually went just a hair farther. Uh, let me zoom in here and you can see we actually have a little bit more room for Ethereum, which would line up with what we were talking about as far as uh, over on the candles, being able to see a little bit farther of a, a pullback down to this 1925 uh, area. However, that's also not guaranteed. So let's keep moving on to the candles with Hikaki. You can see the last thing we got two days ago was this strong bear confirmation, which has been playing out. Over on the Copot curve, if you remember on the April 1st, we got that bounce off the zero line and we've been putting in higher highs and higher lows coming off that ever since. So again, uh, I believe this report is giving us a strong confirmation of uh, seeing that sideways trading, maybe a slight, maybe a slight pullback just a little bit farther down. I don't see it going down too terribly farther though. Uh, just my opinion, never financial advice. Uh, let's check out that accuracy. Oh, yeah, baby. 93%. Loving it. Killing it over here on this report. However, that is going to do it for today's video. If you got anything of value from this video, make sure you smash that like Don't button and make sure to also check out the Bitcoin video from Don't earlier today as well. And we'll catch you folks like, on the like, next one. Comment and subscribe. Like, like, comment and subscribe. Yeah.